Okay, we have three finger exercises. For each of these exercises, I want you to apply these principles. One, be sure that you're holding your pick with your first finger and thumb only, keeping your hand open and relaxed. I like to stay in touch with the body of my guitar or these lower strings. It helps me to develop eyesight just by touch and feel. There's nothing wrong with looking at what you're doing, but you don't want to have to be glued with your vision there. With your right hand, you want to use the tips of your fingers to the best of your ability. You want to always be as close to the fret without being right on top of it. Keep your fingers curved. Um, so apply this to all three finger exercises. Now the first finger exercise uses the following fingering. First, second, third, fourth. Notice I'm laying my fingers down as I go. You don't want to one that allows for too much noise uh, gives you open strings there's no control the further you pick your fingers up the further they have to come back down that inhibits speed clarity accuracy so you want to lay your fingers down as you go on this first exercise if you're a beginner and you're starting it's going to feel like a real stretch to Get as close to the fret as possible, lay your fingers down, keep your fingers curved. It's a lot to remember. So you want to watch this video for these reminders because you don't want to think that you have it and then practice this wrong. Okay? So I'm going to give you uh, an example of how to play this first exercise. Uh, I won't play the entire thing because you're going to work your way all the way up to the 12th fret, one fret at a time, and then all the way back down. Here's how it goes. One, two, three, four, 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 now freeze. Now we're going to scoot up one fret, and again, scoot all the way up to that fret as close as you can without being on top of it. And we're going to come down going four, three, two, one. Obviously you cannot keep all fingers down as you go back or the notes won't ring. But I do keep this first finger here while I'm transitioning to my next string. Four, three, two, one. First finger up, again, as close to the fret as possible, using all down picks as a reminder, make sure you're not making a fist. Usually once you start to play this, if you begin to tense up and you'll make a fist, make yourself relax, keep your right hand open, using all down picks, one, two, three, four. first finger or your pinky. Then you begin to work your way down. Slide your first finger down. One, two, three, four. With your pinky, slide your pinky down. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. finger down and so forth work your way all the way back down so that's finger exercise number one again remember lay your fingers down as you go when you're going up get as close to the fret as possible keep your fingers curved 
your right hand open, use all down picks. Up picks are for speed. So for more advanced students, I want you to practice alternating picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. up. To use a metronome to push yourself, make sure you set the metronome at a pace to where you can play this perfectly. Okay? Um, and then once you really master that, bump the metronome up a little bit and um, push yourself. But you don't want to develop bad habits. You want to make sure that you're playing this perfectly. Okay? Alright, let's move on to exercise number two.